Hello guys! Happy Saturday! As you had just seen, I started modeling clay and I'm making some pins. Yeah, finally, I bought this one year ago. And my boyfriend is just come back. taking me an eternity to do these things I will learn Hello guys, uh, right now I'm making some notebooks, I have been folding all <laughs> these ones, um, yeah, so I want to prepare a bit of stock, 
it makes sense making them all together but I'm not used to talk while I'm doing stuff yeah I'm not that multitasking oh, probably yes I can do it I don't know I mean I, I don't know what to talk about <laughs> hello hello um it's been a while since the last time i talked to you uh the reason is because my boyfriend uh was working from home in the last days so i don't talk uh today's wednesday but i don't have any lesson so yeah we are doing the easter break uh yeah it's the 31st of march oh wow tomorrow is april in general monday and tuesday i work on my illustrations for the university project but yeah since we have three weeks of break i decided this week to do just stuff related to my business and yeah it's nice to focus just on that i'm also feeling more productive because i have been creating new products so as you had just seen i made a um, new pattern so some raccoon hats so several expressions for the raccoon uh, that i'm gonna use um uh, first of all for a sticker sheet mm, yeah i really i have just a couple of sticker sheets in my store so yeah it would be nice to make another one but more importantly i'm gonna order my first washi tape it's very very stupid i was like oh no i don't have enough subscribers enough followers to order a washi tape or maybe doing a enamel pin it felt like <laughs> In my head, it was like you had to reach a certain level of experience to order some kind of products, but um, why? <laughs> this is something that I made in my head. Nobody said that. <laughs> I contacted a company asking for a quote for a washi tape and it's, I thought it was going to be very expensive, but no. Also because people anyway, they sell it for three, in general for three pounds and fifty. So it can't be that expensive if they sell it for that price. So yeah, definitely, definitely it's gone, it was more expensive to outsource this from China compared to ordering washi tape. So I'm gonna do it. Um, yeah, the shipping price is not low, but um, I don't know if I'm ready to make many different designs or if it's better to sell just one design and order 50 pieces. Uh, yeah, think about it. And then... <laughs> With the, the pattern, I, as you've seen, I want to make a face mask. Uh, first of all, because I want a face mask for myself. And I'm gonna order just four pieces from a store. So it means one for, is for me and three pieces are gonna be for whoever wants them. Yeah, because I, I'm a bit scared of getting many face masks. Because, yeah, I mean, COVID is not over, of course. But I don't know <laughs> if people are gonna get them. Um, and also I'm not able to sell them for a very cheap price uh, because yeah it's hard to find a very cheap supplier that is able to create a full print so if I don't manage to sell them it's not a big deal unless I change my mind I'm gonna order the mask and then you I'm gonna have just three pieces super exclusive and well of course if people like it I can order more yeah so these are the products but I'm also starting thinking about ordering uh, an amor pin that's the next step <laughs> yeah uh, i just started my enamel pin collection well i always loved enamel pins but i never bought the very the good ones i was getting just the yeah the super cheap ones uh, after ordering from Gemma de pen and uh, emily harvey i saw yeah the quality that they can have and so i thought yeah i want to make my own uh, i still don't know what kind of design well, for sure it's gonna be a raccoon, you know? <laughs> I guess you understood that the raccoon is gonna be my main character, my branding. And also, I want to find a name for the yellow raccoon and the pink raccoon because they are gonna be my main characters. And I like the fact they don't have natural colors. So I believe they're gonna be more original. Uh, so yeah, feel free to suggest any names because I'm not good with names. No. About the raccoon, so about the enamel pin, I don't know if I want to create a collection, but to make a collection, of course, I need uh, to make a Kickstarter because it 
otherwise it's gonna be a lot of money but if i want to make just one i can uh, i can pay f yeah, for it by myself and also i have been making the pins the clay pins super chunky and haven't finished them <laughs> something that i wanted to tell you is that i bought the materials also to make earrings it's how it happens more or less i see something online i'm like okay i, I want that i like it and, and then i'm like okay i'll do it by myself of course not copying the design i, I saw absolutely and it's also what happened when i with punch needle I also bought all the materials to do punch needle because I I'd like to start several hobbies. Yeah, I definitely need some hobbies. So well, I want to create products that I will use myself, and then if I make more, I'm gonna sell them on my shop. But simply, I create stuff and then I put it uh, as one of object in my shop and see if anybody likes it. So yeah, there will be a, a different kind of business model. <laughs> Simply, I, I do stuff as a hobby and then if anybody is interested, they can get it. Imagine, yeah, you have seen many people that are doing clay pins, clay earrings and punch needle. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> so yeah, I want to give it a try because I need new hobbies. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna open an order that I got from Eve Penkova. I bought it during the eHearts market and we also had a live together on Instagram, me and Eve. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so I thought about getting some little pretty things from her shop that I'm gonna give to some friends of mine. And her products are really cute and very precious. I really like the care she puts on her products. And thank you, Eva, for the freebies. Yeah, you're right, he looks a bit angry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do a bit of walking with it.
Hello guys, how are you? Today is Tuesday, uh, yesterday was Good Monday, the day after Easter, is it Good Monday? Whatever. Uh, so today I'm officially starting to work on my usual things. I spent the whole week, last week, um, just on my business stuff and that was very, very, very nice to focus on just on one thing. Uh, while in general I'm split between um, university stuff and, and my own small business. Yeah, last week I believe that was very productive, very creative. I created a new pattern that I'm gonna use for several products, uh, such as a washi tape. I still have to prepare the final file to send to the manufacturer, so they are gonna tell me if there's any, anything to correct. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna use that pattern also to create a face mask. <laughs> That, that is something that I want for myself, first of all. And then I'm gonna make also a secret sheet. Uh, probably I told you that I wanted, I had the idea of designing an uh, enamel pin. Uh, yes, I've done it. <laughs> I've designed two enamel pins, so I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, here they are! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> first of all, I have to say that finally I decided the names of these guys. Well, I have to thank uh, Pin and Inko. She's a lovely illustrator and she lives in London as well. So yeah, it's amazing to find another creator and artist uh, living in the same city of mine. And so he's Raki and Uni. <laughs> Raki, Uni. Raki, okay. Don't know if they are both guys, I have no idea. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is the sketched, well, the, the, the first digital version I created. So I on the iPad. But the idea of the guy hugging his uh, apple comes from some sketches. Uh, I believe a couple of months ago I drew this, these raccoons. Um, originally, yeah, the raccoon was hugging a heart uh, because I had something else in mind. I was trying different positions and I liked this pose, even if I was worried that the tail could be ambiguous. <laughs> Sorry, but it would be more expensive to develop a pin like this that is long. Yeah, because it's, it's gonna take more space in one length. So I prefer to, to do a more compact pose. And so I made this. Yeah, then I created this one. So this is the heart, but it even you, you can't tell that it's a heart. I mean, it looks like an apple. So in the end, I turn it into an apple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, especially because then I decided to do the other raccoon with a huge piece of pizza. So I thought it was nice to have them uh, hugging, grabbing a piece of food. So apparently Raki is very healthy and Uni is not. Yeah. And uh, after that I created the vector version where I tried to simplify some stuff. But probably this is still too complex. I don't know. Uh, I need a feedback from the manufacturer uh, because I'll be worried about these lines, how, uh, how they're gonna turn out, especially this pizza. But I'm very happy with them. I love them. <laughs> I could do many things with these guys because you know me. I'm gonna recycle designs on many things. <laughs> well, probably I'm gonna do a punch needle thing, uh, wall hanging uh, with this design. Yeah, so this is very exciting. I've been sending several emails to several manufacturers to ask for a quote. Of course, first I want to share these designs on Instagram. I want to see if anybody likes them, if anybody will be interested in buying them. And I was considering also doing a Kickstarter, but it sounds like a lot of work for just two pins. I, I don't know. And also I have to wait longer, I have to prepare the... Yeah, I think it needs a lot of preparation and otherwise I could also do a pre-order. Uh, but I'm not sure about how to do that. I checked on, on Etsy, there are many pre-orders or enamel pins, but all the listings on Etsy are showing pins that are already in production. But in, so in that case it doesn't make sense because I will do the pre-order in order to be sure to have the people buying the pin. And if, it's, it's the, if the pin is already in production, it means that you already paid for it. <laughs> no, yeah, I have to decide what I want to do. But yeah, let me know, please. Let me know in the comments uh, if you like the designs, 
if you have any recommendations, if you are interested in getting them. I'm happy to say that during the weekend I managed to relax a bit, so it was the Easter weekend. So I have been doing, as you see, this guy, and I'm very happy with it. I have to put on um, something, a cord, so I can put it on my wall. Uh, so this is for me. I'm sorry. I want to make more of this. Oh, I also have a big hoop, so I can make also big ones. And um, yeah, I want to take it as a hobby. So when I feel like doing it, I'm gonna do some coasters, hang wall hangings, rugs, whatever. If I'm, I don't want to keep them, I'm gonna put them in my shop. Uh, same thing for the... <laughs> same thing for the pins that I've never finished to paint, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see, I mean, if people really like them. Of course, I can put a bit more effort on these kind of things. Yeah, um, I'm not very original, yeah, I'm doing all the popular things that you can find here on YouTube. But yeah, I like them, so <laughs> I want to try out. Okay, let's change position. Yeah, this looks nicer. Um, so yeah, now it's Tuesday. Uh, I'm back on my university project. I'm gonna end up the studio vlog here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please consider to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. It's something quite simple, quite basic, but yeah, it helps a lot the channel to grow. And I wanted to thank you for the 500 subscribers. That's absolutely amazing. We are halfway to 1000 yeah thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye